So prior to November 1st, CPSA informed industry that rather than going to mandatory ACI as was planned, it would be a mandatory informed compliance period. So that means that while trucks wouldn't be turned around at the border or amped for not properly submitting ACI, um, they would receive an educational enforcement. So currently border service officers um, are providing carriers with their correct information if drivers do not submit ACI e-manifest. Come May 1st, 2013, that will be mandatory compliance period. So then trucks will be turned around at the border if they do not correctly submit ACI and they will be amped. I think during the informed compliance period, as with any big change, there's been a learning curve associated with it. I also think the informed compliance period perhaps created a little bit of confusion among the trucking community and among the, the border service officers among what, regards to what was the proper procedure during this period. So we've had some carriers who've had complaints when they get to the border. There's been a delay as a result of lack of border service officer education and knowledge of the correct procedures. Um, there's been some issues with border service officers giving inc incorrect information to drivers and creating confusion. I think one example of that is border service officers saying that ACI is not mandatory until May 1st. Um, this creates confusion and especially for the early adopters who've made investments to comply with ACI and are currently submitting. It's also discouraging for the drivers when they get to the border with the correct ACI paperwork. Everything's been submitted properly and the border service officer isn't quite sure what to do at that time. Um, so CTA has been working with CBSA um, to do some targeted education at ports that we hear a lot of complaints about. Um, this, this will hopefully reduce delays and increase border service education on the issues. So we're encouraging all CTA members that if you have any sort of issues like this at the border to please contact me, let me know, because CTA has a great dialogue with CBSA um, so we can make them aware of the problems and they can do what they can to fix it. So recently we had our FAST pilot launch event, the Blue Water Bridge. Um, basically it's going to study delinking the requirement for at the freight level for importers or shippers to have to be both CSA and PIP. So that's custom self-assessment and partners in protection. This will better align requirements to use the FAST line with those of the United States. So currently we're collecting data on trucks going into Canada, um, the amount of time it takes them on the bridge and to use the fast booth and comparing it to regular traffic. Um, we're also measuring the number of trucks that we can now qualify for fast lane usage. Um, so I would like to encourage carriers that are in the program to take advantage of the ability to now use the fast pilot booth if they have qualifying freight. Another thing that's become evident while we've been running the pilot is that while we have enough qualified drivers, so that's fast driver or a CDRP driver, we have enough qualified carriers, so that's carriers that have PIP and CSA membership, there is a shortage of freight that qualifies. Um, so that's freight that belongs to trusted trader, so PIP or CSA. Um, I think we do need to do a little bit more education uh, with the importer shipping community of the benefits of being a trusted trader. So we're currently working with CBSA on that. Thanks for watching the CTA Border Blog. I'm Deanna Pagnan. See you next time.